Hello and welcome to the ONTV cooking show. My name is Tracy and today I am going to be making chicken gnocchi soup. Chicken gnocchi is an Italian soup that we are going to copycat from the Olive Garden. So if you're into that, you're going to be into this recipe. So first thing we do is we're going to just saute our vegetables first. We've got one onion, uh, one celery stalk, a half a cup to a cup of carrots, and some minced garlic. So we've got the oil going already, and we're just going to go ahead and start sauteing our onions and vegetables. So this is going to take a couple of minutes here, but we're going to put our celery in here and then we're going to put our carrots in here and we're going to get everything all mixed in. So, so chicken gnocchi soup is a really good soup in the winter time and today actually be, ends up being one of the coldest days of the year. So I usually use um, chopped garlic but today, just to save some time, I'm going to go ahead and use the minced garlic, and we need about mm, two teaspoons of the minced garlic. Okay. So we're just going to go ahead and saute these a little bit here. So what I did ahead of time already was um, I took two chicken breasts that I boiled and then I shredded the chicken up. Um, I took about a cup of uh, baby spinach and I kind of deveined that and chopped that up a little bit too. Now usually, I know I threw some shredded carrots in the pot. But usually what I do is take some little baby carrots and I just chop up the baby carrots so I actually have pieces of carrot in the soup. But just to save it some time, again today, I did the um, shredded. So, which is really what the recipe calls for, but I like to have a little bit, little bits of pieces of carrot in my soup. All right, this is almost done. We're just sauteing until the onions are a little bit translucent. And then we're gonna throw the, throw the chicken. Um, I just use um, like an organic chicken broth from, um, from any grocery store you can find. Um, the, there's like, I think four cups in one box, and that's all the recipe calls for is just four cups. So we're going to also put in some thyme, and there's going to be one um, teaspoon of thyme. I think the recipe is going to be on our web page too, so you'll get all this information. All right. Okay, so um, this is about one pound of chicken, just to let you know. It's about 16 ounces, but it's all shredded. Two chicken breasts um, is all you need, really. And you could basically get a rotisserie chicken if you really wanted to cheat and use a rotisserie chicken and just tear that baby up. So let's put in our chicken broth. Now you can use um, low sodium or whatever you would like, but again, it calls for four cups. And this one box of broth is four cups. So that works out perfectly. Oops. Okay, so now we're going to put in our um, 
one teaspoon of thyme along with our chicken broth. And our chicken, and then we're good. So we're gonna stir this up. We're gonna bring it to a boil. And then we're gonna let it simmer. So after I get this going just a tad, we're gonna add in our gnocchis. So gnocchis you can buy at any grocery store and they look like this. And what they are are just basically Italian potato pastas. Um, so this is really not a gluten-free um, recipe of soup. However, what I did just find recently was um, some chickpea gnocchis. So if you really want to do a gluten-free um, chicken gnocchi soup, you can these days because I just recently found this in the grocery store. So you can get um, chickpeas instead of potato and it will be a gluten-free recipe. But here we just want to put these in slowly. Kind of break them apart a little bit and and we're gonna let this boil whoops dropped one out of the pot one escaped can't have that okay here there we go all right so we're gonna Stir these into the pot. All right, so everything is pretty much in the pot. Um, we have to maybe boil it um, and then simmer it for about 10 minutes after that. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a quick break and we'll be right back and we'll add in the last few ingredients and then have some soup. So we'll be right back. Orion Neighborhood Television is your community media outlet. Our mission is to empower community members and groups to create, communicate, and connect through television and video production. For more than 35 years, ONTV has offered video production classes to residents of all ages and provides them with the equipment and facilities to produce their own programs. Not only are residents encouraged to produce programs, but ONTV staff produces programs that promote local nonprofits and community groups like the Chamber of Commerce, the Orion Township Public Library, and the Lake Orion Lions Club, to name a few. The staff ventures out into the community to cover events like parades, festivals, concerts, and high school sports. ONTV has provided the equipment and staffing to televise township and village meetings live and has provided the video equipment that Lake Orion High School students use as they prepare for a career in broadcasting. ONTV's podcast studio and training give producers an opportunity to educate and entertain listeners. To sign up for classes or for more information, Call 248-393-1060 or visit orionontv.org. Welcome back. And our soup is just about done. We just have a couple more ingredients that we need to put in the pot and then we're ready to eat. Um, so the last two things that we need to do is we want to put in two cups of half and half and then we want to put in about a cup of the uh, baby spinach all chopped up. So we're going to start with this real quick. We're just going to Pour this in slowly. We've got the pot on simmer. So what we did was we let the pot boil and then once it came to a boil we put it on simmer for about 10 minutes. So it really doesn't take that long um, to cook. It's pretty quick, pretty simple, pretty easy. And then we're going to put in some spinach and let that soak in there too. We'll see how that goes. And the spinach will just kind of melt in the pot. So now at this point, um, 
you just kind of want to simmer it for about a couple minutes and then we are ready to go. So I also put in some salt and pepper um, to taste um, and then you can salt and pepper it again um, if you'd like more uh, once the soup is done. So also an option when the soup is done is uh, Parmesan cheese for anybody that likes cheese. But this is gonna this is gonna just simmer for a few more minutes here. Okay, so the soup has been simmering for a couple of minutes now, and we're gonna go check the final product and scoop some out. So follow me. We're gonna check this out here. And it's looking pretty good. I think we've got us some gnocchi soup here. So I'm going to scoop a little bit out so you can see it a little bit better into the soup bowl. And get all these little gnocchis in here. And it's looking pretty good. So here is our final product of gnocchi soup with all our vegetables and some chicken and chicken broth and the gnocchis. So I love Parmesan cheese, so I'm going to put a little bit of Parmesan cheese on mine. Actually, I'm going to put a little bit more. That's how much I like it. And we are good to go. And so this is what chicken gnocchi soup looks like from the Olive Garden. <laughs> so if you'd like this recipe, you can get it on our webpage, and I hope you enjoy. Thank you for joining us today. Bye.